The pushing maneuver of the Zezel Bridge over the Danube in Novi Sad, Serbia, was a remarkable engineering feat that took place in 2018. The Zezel Bridge was originally built in 1961, but it was destroyed during the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia in 1999. The reconstruction of the bridge began in 2013, but the most challenging part of the project was the actual placement of the bridge over the river. To accomplish this, the engineers used the pushing maneuver technique. This involved building a temporary support system for the bridge on one side of the river, and using hydraulic jacks to lift the bridge onto special sliding shoes. Then, tugboats on the other side of the river pushed the bridge across the water, while the hydraulic jacks controlled the speed and direction of the movement. The pushing maneuver took approximately 12 hours to complete, and it was watched by thousands of people who gathered along the banks of the Danube to witness this impressive engineering feat. The successful placement of the Zezel Bridge over the Danube has greatly improved transportation in the area, connecting Novi Sad with the nearby city of Petrovaradin. The process of launching beams for a bridge using a mobile crane is a critical step in bridge construction. This process involves carefully positioning the beams in their designated location to ensure the stability and safety of the bridge. The mobile crane is utilized to lift the beams and move them into place, and the entire operation demands precise coordination and expertise from the construction crew. The mobile crane used in this process must have sufficient lifting capacity to handle the weight of the beams, and the crane operator must have the necessary experience and qualifications to execute the operation safely. The crane operator must be able to operate the crane controls with precision to ensure the beams are lifted and moved accurately to their designated location. The beams are lifted one at a time, and the construction crew must work in close coordination with the crane operator to guide the beams into place. It is essential that the beams are carefully aligned and secured to ensure they are properly connected to the rest of the bridge structure. Safety is of utmost importance during this process, and the crew must wear appropriate personal protective equipment PPE, to avoid any potential accidents. The process of building the Izmet Bay Bridge was a complex and challenging engineering feat. The bridge spans 1.4 kilometers and is located on the North Anatolian Fault, making earthquake design a crucial aspect of the project. The construction involved lifting large sections of the bridge deck into place, with each section weighing about 2,500 pounds. The lifting height was significant, and the lifting speed was about 4 meters per hour. The team had to ensure that the wedges were fixed correctly, and that the deck was level before releasing the sections into place. The bridge's unique location and size made it one of the biggest launches ever done in the world. Jensen Bridging is a company that specializes in providing temporary bridging solutions for a wide range of applications. One of their recent projects was the replacement of the PSRC de Melli Bridge, which was located over the Geneva-Lausanne motorway in the canton of Vaud. The project involved the supply and rental installation of a temporary bridge with a modular structure of panels, known as the Janssen Panel Bridge. The PSRC de Melli Bridge was in need of replacement due to its deteriorating condition.
As a result, the project involved the demolition and reconstruction of the bridge, to ensure that traffic could continue to flow during the reconstruction work, a temporary road bridge was required. This is where Janssen Bridging came in. The Janssen Panel Bridge is a modular bridge system that is designed for rapid assembly and disassembly. The panels are made from high-strength steel and can be quickly connected together to form a bridge of virtually any length or configuration. This makes it an ideal solution for temporary bridging applications such as this one. For this project, the Janssen Panel Bridge with a single lane and a length of 61.00 meters was chosen. The bridge was designed to span the entire width of the motorway and provide a safe and stable roadway for vehicles to pass over. The bridge was installed adjacent to the existing PSRC de Melli Bridge, which was then closed to traffic. The installation of the Janssen Panel Bridge was carried out by a team of experienced technicians from Janssen Bridging. The bridge was assembled on-site using a combination of cranes and other heavy equipment. Once the bridge was in place, it was carefully checked to ensure that it was stable and safe for use. The temporary bridge remained in operation for the duration of the demolition and reconstruction work on the PSRC de Melli Bridge. This allowed traffic to continue to flow on the motorway, minimizing disruption, and ensuring that the project was completed on time. The Anoni Brianza Bridge, located in the Lombardy region of Italy, was recently launched with a stunning display of engineering prowess. The bridge overpasses the State Road 36, also known as the Lake Como and Spluga Road, at KM 41.200 in the province of Lecco. The launching of the 44-meter-long steel structure, weighing approximately 250 tons, was carried out by closing the state road to traffic. The operations were conducted using three large cranes capable of lifting and handling structures weighing hundreds of tons. The launch was a remarkable feat of engineering that required careful planning and execution to ensure the safety of all involved. The Anoni Brianza Bridge is an important infrastructure project for the region, providing a vital link between communities on either side of the state road. The project is estimated to have cost around 2 million euros and is expected to improve transportation